Hello everyone and welcome to Mashinki. I am Obi Wanda and today we are going to start a new game, the first game, in this brand new railroad train simulator tycoon board game whatever. I'm very excited. Um, I'm waiting. Uh, I've been waiting for a very long time to actually play this game and now it's released on Steam I think a few hours ago. Uh, I just finished the download and started my first game. Um, we want to play on recommended settings for the first game which is a 128 by uh, times 128 map, low density hills, medium density forests, medium density industries, medium density towns and low density lakes. Um, there are a lot of um, additional options um, that you have here um, and we will ju just keep everything for the standard um, maybe one of the future series of the game uh, of a playthrough maybe we will start over again um, in one of the few new updates then we can fill around with those settings um, as the, um, with this set the game is still in early access so um, not everything is complete um, but um, it's still a lot to do, and um, as I said, I'm very excited to start this. So, welcome to Machinki. You are the owner of a tiny transport company. To succeed, you will have to build tracks, research and buy the latest vehicles, transport goods and passengers. The goal is to build a transport empire and earn as many tokens as possible. Good luck! This is your first quest. Here you will learn about the different types of quests in Machinki. When you've completed it, we'll move on to the game controls and the basics. Okay, so click the OK button and to read about quests and collect your first reward. Nice! We learned how to click a button, which is great! So on the left side you can see a list of quests. These are um, probably those three over, um, over here. Each type of quest is different. We have error quests, early Steam Age, um, Completing the quest to advance the game to the next era. We have event quests, there's currently none available. Tutorial quests, which we are currently doing. And sandbox quests, which are just generated uh, somewhere on the map. So we can click the plus 10 button over here to collect 10 yeah, money tokens. Um, okay, no, so let's move the camera, move up, down, press, hold, middle mouse button. Uh, use control, alright. Right button to move. Right. That's not too complicated. So everything as usual. Um, in Machinki you can collect various tokens such as money, wood, coal, iron and more. Each time you progress to a new era you will unlock a new token. It's nice. Um, so the first thing we'll do is create a nice hill. <laughs> okay. So construction node spacebar. Okay, so if you hit spacebar, this is one of the best features I have ever seen in one uh, in the tycoon game. Um, so if you hit spacebar, you have this extremely nice view with motion or distance. I know it's called blur, so you can see here everything is very very detailed. This looks amazing for an early access game. Um, and if you hit spacebar, it looks like a board game. So like Settlers of Catan or something like that. It's great. Um, and it's very easy to um, to do things here. So, um, and as you can see, you can just uh, move around all the windows and they snap into place. It's just amazing how um, comfortable this game feels. So, um, race the terrain. So, where do we want to race the terrain? No idea. Over here. Yeah. So let's. Bam! Created the hill. Great. Lower the hill, can demolish stuff, and we can flatten areas. Great, another 40. Uh, Machinki is all about railway. The simplest railway line is between two stations. Connect with the depot, railway station, and depot. Let's start by building a line and transporting passengers between Peterborough and Dudley, which is not too far apart. So, I want to start first passenger line and um, I just want to make sure let's just take a look around um, oh we can you can hear the wind if you if you zoom out wind gone wind <laughs> great all right um, so let's see how do we want to build this um, because I want to make sure that I can extend this later because a single a single line between two towns uh, will not yield much um, profit and there are more towns around here 
So we might be able to do giant loop, maybe. Um, or we just start small. So let's just start small with a, with a small station. Um, try to get as much as as much passengers as possible in here with this and the station over here. Let's do. Let's do that. Well, no, let's not do that. Uh, that was stupid. Um, because it's not in range of any buildings. So... Should at least go... Yeah, go to here. Although I think this is not enough space to actually... Um, enter the station. Mm. Ah, that looks good. Okay, so now we have two stations. Um, it's a railroad construction tool. Alright. So... Oh, you can see the, the, um, the trees. Uh, in the last video that I saw of this game, um, as far as I know, the, um, the, train, uh, the, the trees were barely visible. And uh, it was one of the points that, that I found not too great. Um, because building through wood is always very expensive. Um, and you don't want to do that. So let's connect those. Now we need to depot. Um, I think it doesn't matter where we put it. Just somewhere in here. Like so. And then let's connect uh, this. Can we connect it in this direction? No, we cannot. Alright. So, yeah, we need to fix this later. Uh, at the moment you can only reach the depot from one direction. That's fine. Okay. So, um, let's buy a train. Open the depot here. Uh, cancel railway construction. Yeah. So now we need to buy our first train. We'll buy a porter train with a top speed of 70 miles per hour, 290 horsepower and 23 tons of weight for 40 wood tokens, uh, not wood tokens, money tokens. And we will add three Pullman trains. Um, once on a simple life is two stations, train can automatically calculate routes according to the carriages or wagon attached. So for now, I just need to start the train. So let's select the train. Oh, it's already selected for here. So because the train only has passenger wagons and those stations only have passengers available, um, it will automatically go between those two stations. Nice. Okay. And the best part for this train simula simulation is uh, you can follow the train, of course, by clicking this uh, small icon. And if you. Oh, this is loud! But you can ride the trains! So we have the first passenger's quest. This is a unique opportunity for your company. There is virtually no transport infrastructure here. You should take. Uh, you should first leave the train. Yeah. Of course, this is extremely loud. So I think the best thing would be to start with transporting passengers. It's a cheap way to make some money and get your company started. Right. So we need to transport 50 passengers. Okay. So let's see. 
Um, there are currently two people waiting at the station, which is not too much. Um, yeah, okay, because the, the train just left. And it's almost full with 20. 20 of 24. But there are only th uh, 14 passengers, 16 waiting at this station. So, um, we need to increase that. And the best thing to do this at the beginning is by building um, the waiting room. Because this uh, greatly increases the um, uh, the area that the station, um, the, the, the radius um, that influences the station. Um, it, it, the catchment area, that's how it's called in the game. So let's build that. And this should pull a lot more passengers into the station. Um, by theoretically, it should do that. Come on! Need more passengers. And as you can see here, um, the platform is quite long, so we can add uh, more passengers to the trains. And now we will get our first money. Great. So, let's go to the other station. Station 2. And we can buy the waiting room for this station as well. And I think if you put it here... No, not quite. If we put it... No, we can... The station is too large. Yeah, we can place it either here or here. Um, I would recommend this area because I expect the town to grow in this direction. Um, and this should cover almost the entire town. So just by having this over here... Yeah, there are currently nine people waiting. Um, the station is not too... Um, has not the best area, um, I think, over here. But that's okay. That's totally fine. What we can do... Is build some roads to um, help the town expand. Like so. Don't know if this is a good idea to do at the moment. But um, usually towns um, grow around the streets. So if you build some streets, um, the towns will grow in that direction. Alright, so this is our first station. Uh, let's see if we can expand that. Because there are two more towns over here that we could connect with our train line. Um, let's see, how shall we do that? Can we get out of here? Yeah, we can. So we could go this way, leave the town, and then uh, let's do, how shall we do that, like this, go over here, or let's build the stations first. So, this is just a very small town. Um, yeah, let's grab it anyways. So, we'll do one station over here. And we'll do one station over there. And then... We can connect this. And yeah, now we have to go through the forest. That's okay. Like this. And then what we can do is um, let's loop around here. Like that. And then we'll just go back. Like this. And then I want to do 
do is add a second terminal over here or a second platform uh, and then just follow the curve back to to where we started Oop. deconstruct this um, if you deconstruct um, railway um, you will get some of the money back so what is the shortcut for this it's R this. So the train is currently full with 24 passengers and 19 are waiting. So uh, we should definitely make the, um, the train bigger. And then, um, let's see. So we will reach this town twice because yeah, well this is the biggest town that is available here and this is also quite big so it should be fine to reach this one a second time ah. did the curve too late again like so so build a second station right here we have 500 money left that's fine no, what? Wait. You? Ah. Maybe the radius is not too small. Maybe I can't connect this. Okay, so maybe we need to go uh, one far, one more. Um, we need to increase the radius of this track. Shouldn't this work? Well, it does not. So let's deconstruct all of this. Uh, right here. Let's see. Yeah, so this is working now. Oh no, we need to clear the forest. Okay. So this looks fine to me. So now let's see how is this working. The train is going this direction. Um, it will come around here. And then it will reach that. So this should go here. Oh, this makes no sense, right? Possible to do the same thing that we did over here again. Should we just connect? Oh, let's see. How do we do that? Hmm. That's quite complicated. And the house is in the way, and we cannot deconstruct houses at the moment. So I think we will not be able to have two separate tracks through the stations. No, we don't have that. It's not possible. So let's deconstruct this. Um, maybe... Yeah, I think what we will do is um, I will deconstruct this and just connect connect disconnect this yeah connect it like that and then just have this one exit from here and we want this to go it doesn't actually matter so this can go in this direction so we yeah this is fine what we don't need is this p 
part of the track. So now we have a circle. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Alright. So now the only problem is that we cannot reach... Um, we need to, to place the depot to an, in an, at another location. Let's just remove the depot for a moment and move it slightly. Uh, look at this. It already does it. Or is this the problem? Because we cannot make... Uh, I think the depot is, is, is better off on this uh, two-track. So, yeah, this is... Might be the better uh, better option for it um, because I want to have a way to enter the depot from two sides. So basically, what I want is um, I want to have right-hand traffic. So trains will go this direction right here. So ah, that's the wood. That's a good like, that's a good direction uh, location over here. So I want to have a track that goes like that. And like that. And now I want to have the people right here. Okay. And then we can deconnect this. Alright. And then we will send you to the depot. And while the train is on the way to the depot, we can take care of signals. So, choose the direction. Yeah, this is the direction I want the trains to go. So, let's put one, one here. Nope. This way. And then one here. Oh, this is not connected. Nah. Not enough space, okay. Let's see. Let's do it like that. Yeah, this is working. Alright. This is totally fine. This direction. This direction. And then... One signal here, one signal there. The train is, I think, is already on the way to the depot. Yeah, I think it is because we send it there. Of course. Okay, so I think this is it for the moment. Um, and we are at the end of the first episode, and we already over. Um, way over time but 10 minutes um i think i should increase the episode time to 20 minutes because i never reached the 15 minute mark uh, ever so um i hope you enjoyed the first episode we i think it's a pretty good start we have quite a large network and 500 bucks are left um We'll finish this line at the train in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to buy this uh, the game, you can either buy it from Steam or from the machinki.com website itself. I'll put both links in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.